Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. I am Gina, super thrilled to be here with you to go over the differences between the Uppa Baby Vista V2 and the Mockingbird. So I did some Mockingbird videos a while ago and I don't know if I covered the Vista in that series. I don't think I did. I didn't think it was appropriate to compare the Vista to the Mockingbird because they are in such wildly different price points. I still feel this way. However, the amount of people asking for that comparison was high, so I figured we may as well do it, especially since I have one right now in uh, my hands. So if you're unfamiliar, Mockingbird is a direct-to-consumer brand. You cannot see it physically in stores. You can't try it out in stores, but they do enable you to purchase it, try it out in your home, and then return it to them. So convenient if it doesn't work out for you. Um, like most other normal brands, Up A Baby is going to be available at a wide variety of retailers, so you can test it out next to other products and see how it stacks up, which is probably the useful kind of information that someone who would be visiting a store would care about. So, uh, very different approaches to how they feel sales should be done. Um, and that right there is gonna be like one of the big differences. So, other differences are going to be both will come in a host of different colors. You're actually looking at two different colors on both models here. Um, also, this Mockingbird, I had to get used because they're still waiting on their new ones to arrive to the United States. Uh, I believe the new ones have been adjusted so they won't break in half when there's heavy weight on the front. They were being recalled for that. Um, Up Baby's never had a recall like that that I'm aware of for the stroller and I've sold it my entire career. So. Uh, just goes to show you some of the differences. Oh, price differences. This guy's going to be $450 as a single, and this one's going to be $1,100 as a single. So there's a huge price difference between the products, which is, again, probably why they don't make sense for a super close comparison, but because they do the same things, people want to see that. What are you getting special with this guy that you don't get there? Clearly, the first thing is canopies. You get much better sun coverage with the Uppa Baby. I know for some people this won't matter. My sister's kids all have very fair skin. They are redheads, so sun coverage absolutely is critical, and the children are gonna get the most sun damage the first two years of their lives. So please, please, please put the shades on them whenever possible. Um, I can't stress that enough. It's really, really critical. Keep them shaded. Uh, this model here, and this is what I was getting back to before, these seats are actually different. One has a polka dot interior and one has a window pane. The window pane seat is clearly newer because it has additional zip out panel for more sun coverage. But even in the one that's longer, you can see that the sun coverage with this brand is, uh, Up Baby is going to be superior to what you have here. I have both of these set up in dual mode right now. Neither one comes this way. You do have to make several separate purchases in order to make this a reality. But since people want to see them set up as doubles, that's why I have them set up as doubles. Additionally, if we turn the strollers side to side, you'll notice that the wheel size is different. So the Uppa Baby is going to have a larger rear tire, more aligned with, I believe, 12 inches. And I think that the Mockingbird is dealing with either a 10 or an eight inch rear tire. It's pretty small in my opinion, for a product that can go from single to double. As a single stroller, I wouldn't mind that, but the idea that two 44-pound kids on here on those little tires makes me feel a little bit nervous just because of the amount of force that it would require to keep it rotating, which is where a larger tire comes into play, which is why running strollers generally have huge tires because you want to have as little effort as possible to keep them moving with weight in them. That being said, both products have a large basket, um, other differences are going to be in the secondary seat size. So both products will come with one stroller seat. Mockingbird is going to have stroller seats that are the same physical size in both positions. Up a baby's second seat is smaller than the main seat. You cannot take the main seat and clip it down into that position. There's no option for the bigger, heavier kid to sit low. The weight limit here is going to be 33 pounds. The weight limit there is going to be 44 pounds. It's also a larger seat. My argument with this is that it is so cumbersome to get it to actually move with a big, heavy kid on the front that they could say that it'll hold 500 pounds and it wouldn't matter to me because the functionality of it is so poor that it makes it almost impossible to do. 
and I am willing to put my money where my mouth is with this. I have a 28 pound doll right here. We're gonna load it up. But 28 pounds is not 44 pounds. So I'm gonna add another doll. And yes, up a baby did send me these, but I think it's fair to use them. Is 14. So 28 and 14 is 42. So we are darn near the max of it. And then I'm gonna take my 10 pound dolly and set them up here. Now these children aren't real, so I don't need to buckle them in. But my concern would be coming to a curb and having to pop up over. That squeak is already a really good sign. I like that. And so that's what's been concerning for people. I would also say that it's strange to me to have something with a pivoting handle with a plastic joint being the part that we're putting. And I'm really having to put all my weight on that to get it to pop up. Um, to get that to do that. So that to me is a little disconcerting. Uh, yeah, definitely not the easiest and getting it to maneuver with the weight in it is certainly not the easiest task in the world. And this is also a 10 pound kit in the back. If we have a heavy child up here, like one that's 40 pounds, I don't even know if I'd be able to push it. So I'm gonna put the weight in the other one and we'll see what's going on there. Now again, this guy has a lower weight limit down here. So we'll do just the 28 pound doll. Oh, this one fell. But I suspect I could even cheat that and put in the other heavy doll, or not the super heavy one, but the baby in here. So we're actually over the weight limit here. We're at about 38 pounds. So I wouldn't recommend, you're not supposed to do that. But life happens, we get it. Okay, first of all, it's like night and day. No squeak. I still have to exert force in order to get that to pop up. But it's like night and day. Additionally, that's a telescoping handle. This is metal within metal. So if I'm going to put any type of pressure down in order to do that, and that's actually a thousand times easier now that I have better leveraging. Um, makes sense, just a little physics. But um, it's night and day different and it feels far more secure in order to do something like that. So, you know, this is twice the price of that. Do you think it's twice as nice? Do you think that these features and these mechanisms work twice as well to warrant the price jump or even three times as much? Yes, I do. However, if this is cost prohibitive, there are other single to double options that are in this price range that would be better choices. Uh, the Venice Child Ventura comes to mind. That's an awesome product uh, for $5.50 and it does way more than this. And it comes with way more because in order to even get this to work with your car seat or have a cup holder or a rain shield, you're already at an additional $90 expense. Most of these other products either include it or make it all work together with their own car seat as a travel system. They don't make a car seat, so anyway, that's not the point. I wouldn't even want their car seat if they made it. Um, like I said, I don't hate this. I think the concept is nice to have something fun and fashionable for families to be able to use for single to double. I just think you can do better with your money and I think it's incredibly telling that they won't put this on show floors to put it next to other products for a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, they're banking on the fact that you don't get to try it out next to something else to sort of compare the quality. And I think that that's important. This is gonna come with more, comes with a bassinet for sleeping overnight. You can buy a stand, the kid can sleep in it. It's actually a very comprehensive system. Like all the 800 pieces that you can buy, and there are so many, they all work together. So I like that it's a very nice closed system. They're very much like Apple that way. If you buy into it and you buy everything, it's kind of like awesome, but you do have to like go the distance in order to really get the full use out of everything. Um, this here, not so much. That's gonna conclude our video for now. Please hit like or subscribe and check out the other videos we have on YouTube. Um, 
or if you have comments or questions, leave them below and we will get back to you. Remember, like or subscribe. Thank you so much.